Are you a dentist or do you see your business more as a dental clinic or maybe you're more of a cosmetic dentist? Which one do you think is most relevant? Choosing Google My Business categories can make or break your visibility in Google local search results since they are one of the most influential factors that will help your listing rank in Google Maps. Today's Google My Business optimization tip is to help you figure out which categories you should be choosing for your listing so you get the best chances of being discovered by prospective customers for the services or products you provide. Hi everyone, I'm Luke Duran, the founder of RankingAcademy.co.uk. I'm here to help you make the most of your business online. So if you want to join the community, just subscribe and click on the bell button so you don't miss a thing. If you have set up a Google My Business listing already or are in the process of doing so, you'll need to pick categories which you feel are most suited to your business. Simple, right? Just click on the drop down next to the category field and select what you think is the best match. Mm, not so fast. There are currently almost 4,000 different business categories to choose from in the US alone, which can make things a little trickier than they seem. Let's say you're a lawyer, for example. It would make sense to choose lawyer as your primary category, right? Or should you use legal services or even law firm? Not so obvious anymore. And what is the difference between primary and secondary category? Do you need secondary categories? How many should you add? Let's start with your primary category. As its name indicates, your primary category is the most important one. It has a lot more ranking power than secondary categories, which means the choice you are going to make here is an important one. Let's say you are a plumber that also does air conditioning, like this company located in Florida. What should they select as a primary category? Plumber or air conditioning contractors? You should always choose your primary category based on the area of the business you want to concentrate on. So if this company felt air conditioning was more important to them than plumbing, that's what they should use as a primary category because they would be more likely to rank in Google Maps for air conditioning related keywords. They can add plumber as a secondary category, which will also help them rank for plumbing related keywords, but it won't be as powerful. In their case, they have decided to go for plumber, which was an easy choice since it's a straightforward category as there is only one option available from the Google My Business dashboard. But had they chosen to go for the air conditioning option, they would have been faced with another dilemma because there are a lot more options to choose from when it comes to air conditioning, as you can see from the predictive list when I'm in the Google My Business dashboard. Unfortunately, this list is only partially helpful because it just gives option based on what you start typing. And I know there are many other options that could be considered. To really understand the extent of the category you have at your disposal, head over to a tool called plepper.com. In the navigation bar, select tool and click on Google My Business Categories Full List 2020. Scroll down and select your language and country of choice. Categories can be different from country to country, so it's important you choose the right options here. Scroll down again, then enter the category you think is most appropriate for your business in the blank field. In this case, let's continue with air conditioning. Just like in Google, you can see a suggested list based on what you typed. But what makes this tool powerful is when you click on the category you think is most relevant to your business, another window will open showing you related categories Google has associated with it. This is very useful because A, you might come across a category you think is far more relevant as a primary one, and B, you may want to use some of these related options as secondary categories, as long as you provide those services. Let's have a look at another example and search for lawyer this time. Lawyer is obviously an option, but if I look at the related categories associated with that, I can see there are plenty of other possibilities that don't show in the Google suggestions. If I was a lawyer who specialized in personal injury, I would have been likely searching for lawyer in Google and never found the personal injury option, although it would seem to be the most relevant one. I can't stress enough how important your primary category is for your rankings and overall visibility. So if you already have a listing, I suggest you double check you have selected the right one using this method. Once you've selected your primary category, you should consider adding secondary ones. This will also contribute to improving your reach and hopefully rank for additional keywords. The process is very much the same. Look at what is available in plepper.com and select what you believe will make commercial sense. Going back to our Florida plumber, for example, his primary category is currently plumber and 
he could set a secondary category such as a conditioning repair service for example. Has he done it? Unfortunately, I can't see because Google only displays the primary category in any given Google My Business listing. But let me introduce you to a brand new Google Chrome extension called GMB Spy, which once installed will show you all the categories associated with a business. To download the extension, just go to the Chrome Web Store and search for GMB Spy and install it. Once installed, just go to Google Maps, search for a business, then click on the extension in the toolbar you should see the list of categories showing up. The top one is the primary one and everything below that will be secondary categories. Why is this useful? Because you can spy on your competitors and see exactly which secondary categories they have added to their listing and then add them to yours. Let's have a look at our Florida plumber one more time and check if they have added air conditioning as a secondary category. Unfortunately, they haven't, which means they are likely to miss out on some rankings. You can add up to nine secondary categories, although most of you are likely to use anything between three and five. Don't add categories for the sake of it, if you feel they are only partially relevant. Last but not least, when choosing secondary categories, try matching the content of your website as closely to them as possible. So if you are a plumber, for example, but also offer air conditioning repair services, create a page with the following address structure, www.yourwebsite.com slash air dash conditioning dash repair dash service. Add a relevant meta title to that page. Your meta title is the title that appears in Google search results. Make sure you include in there your keyword air conditioning repair service along with your location, let's say Miami. Also on that page, add a header which will include those keywords as well. This will send strong signals to Google that your content is very relevant for a specific category as it matches it very well, giving your listing a much better chance to rank for related terms. You can apply the same principle for your primary category to your homepage. The one thing that will be different will be the web address since it is going to be your main domain name, but overall the idea remains the same. That's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. And if you have any questions, you can post them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. And until next time, happy marketing.